Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, don't cheap building action. Just the drama. Okay, everybody, morning, what's up? How y'all doing today? Y'all ready for some Bob TV? Well, guess what? I have all my molds, I got them cleaned up. Y'all see me clean them up. I drilled my alignment holes, okay, all the way around the edges. That's going to align my pieces. See them? All the way around it. And I got them waxed. And I sprayed my part all on. So guess what? We're ready for some resin. See how shiny that part all looks? That's when you know it's, you're done. When the coat dries and it's shiny, you know you're done. Okay, but I got to mix me some more resin. And I gotta get some more in my resin cup. So check out the, this is just my Associated Industries 2108 clear resin. Okay, I went through a lot of resin the past couple years, and this is how it works best for me. Okay, I take my resin and I pour it in a cup. Just leave the lid on it, and sideways, bam. And I could pour more exact measurements in my cup rather than using this five gallon pail. Same cup from yesterday. I'm gonna mix up. Oh, I'm gonna take a couple batches. Let's mix up 400. 400 grams of resin. Two. That's that close. 400 grams of resin. So 4 to 1 is 100 grams of hardener. So I'll take it on up to 500. 502 would be exact. Beautiful. Well, right, better get a new stick. I wasn't using this stick. Mm -hmm. It's still good. Let me sit down and mix her up. Now, to mix resin at butcher shop, you got to have a special resin mixing permit. <laughs> Not anyone gets to mix resin at butcher's house. Isn't that right, John? Paul. <laughs> John is one guy. He's worked with Butch on a lot of projects, man. Making them Sea Fury spinners, you know, the real ones, and, and just helping him doing all kinds of big old jobs. Never would let him mix no resin. <laughs> one day, he was over there helping Butch, and Butch says, Mix this resin up. And he was just shocked. He went straight home that day and called Paul. Guess what? Butch let you let me make some resin. <laughs> he was all excited about it. But he said, even after he mixed it, Dad did it to Butch. Butch still mixed it some more. <laughs> I guess you kind of had to be there, huh? 
<laughs> okay. Did I do all right, Butch? Is that resin mix good enough? Sides of my mold that keeps a lot of resin from running on the floor and dripping on the floor, you know. But I'll tell you a little secret when I spray my mold release, I get a little, a little extra mist on the floor. Anything that drops on the floor scrapes right up, man. Next day, I just don't mess with it. Next couple of days just scrape it right up and get hard and no oh flip ripper dave has my tra tracked a lot of resin in my house no man i got the old garage shoes that come right off i leave them at the door when i'm doing resin but I still ain't gonna be ready for cloth till midnight and I know it. That's alright. Oh that just looks beautiful. Just beautiful. Want that first coat to be nice and smooth. See how that looks? That's beautiful right there. Now don't touch that in your field vision box. It'll be all sticky. <laughs> That's when you can touch your dish soap, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I should have mixed up 500. 